Their fathers were the founders of the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. And recently, these two cousins, Jamie Hanna and Jonathan McEwen, got together to record their self-titled debut CD, Hanna McEwen. Critics have compared their vocal harmonies to the Everly Brothers, while Jonathan McEwen himself describes their new release as a new regime of country. Please welcome Hannah McEwen. <laughs> Catches on to you. So anytime you wanna fool around, you know what to do. Anytime you ask me, I'll go running back to you, and I can't help myself. I'm just a clown, and you know that I'm a perfect fool, a fool for you. Anytime you wanna. We're with Jamie Hanna and Jonathan McEwen of Hanna McEwen. Thank you for being here this morning. This is your debut album, so let's start from the beginning. I'd like to find out when you two decided to work together. You are family, cousins, so when did you say, okay, we've got something and let's make a band? Well, 2002, point? right? 2002, we did uh, a song together on Will the Circle Be Unbroken, Volume 3, and uh, it was the first time we had done thing, anything that in, a, in a real professional, you know, kind of setting together. So it, at that point, um, there was a lot of attention from that song, and it, you know, all the years of, of thinking of, about doing something together, finally, you know, it was right in front of us to actually do something. And I think that was the time we actually said, hey, is that Let's because it. it felt right, or was it because you were so well received? 
We well, try so many times to do so many things in this life, and sometimes you just know that there's certain places you can go with certain people. And he and I both knew we could achieve the, you know, making a record. I'm sure that we could finish an album, right? Yeah, finished a record. It took, and, and it took a year or so, but we got it done. And we live far apart from each other, which was one of the reasons we hadn't done anything up until that time. But with this all happening, we're, we're never home. We're always on the road together. So it's, it's given us an opportunity to, to play music together, which we've always done whenever we could. But now it's, you know, out there doing it together. Yeah. Now, given that both of your fathers are in the nitty-gritty nitty dirt band, um, you grew up with music your whole life. Was it something that you felt that was in you, or did you discover it a little bit later in your life? I mean, when you were little kids. Mm. I think it's always been a, it's always been in us because it's always been around us. Um, we have a lot of siblings between the two of us, and he and I were uh, two that actually kind of picked it up and took it to the next level. Um, you know, it's it's inevitable when your dad's playing music; it's it's around you all the time. I want to talk a little bit about family gatherings. Both your parents are musical, and I'm wondering if it was really about camaraderie and participating together, or was it about sort of jockeying for attention when you two were? We were always little funny men around the house, and, the, and uh, because of the, all the comedians that were around our families. But uh, the family gatherings were more like when somebody achieved something, they would get to, everybody would get together. Like when there was a record done or some everybody's off the road, so potato salad, hamburgers, good food, chicken, dogs, what about musically, backyard, though? musically. What was I, happening? I don't know. Did it wasn't, you jam around? It wasn't really a musical thing. I mean, that was kind of that's something that just was always around. So it wasn't like it was a special moment to do it for a family gathering. You know, there's always pianos in both of our houses and instruments around the house. And if someone happened to play at a party. Yeah, I remember, I remember playing a lot of music at parties as a, as a child with my dad and stuff, but it was mostly just kind of off to the side, picking, a little picking party. Now, but were they happy when your parents found out that you wanted to pursue music? Because they've seen how difficult, difficult it can be, but also, you know, obviously they, they enjoy what they do. Were they encouraging? It's a, it's a double double-edged sword with them. On one hand, I think they were happy that, you know, we were able incapable to do it and, and, and loved music, but on the other hand, it, it's, a, it's a tough job. Yeah, it was not one-sided. It wasn't one-sided in that the mother really wants you to be a star and the father is elsewhere. It was more like, you know, they both understood each end of the, you know, the, the double-edged sword. They, they both understood what was going on and the mothers would be a mother and the fathers would be a father. And sometimes they'd switch roles, you know, and our right. mothers would be fathers. Like, you sure you want to do this? Yeah. Okay. You know, but yeah. When your folks, are, when your dad's on the road all the time, you, you when your dad's on the road all the time, you want to know what it's like, but your mom doesn't want you to go until mm -hmm. you're More old protected. enough.